is Sports Center. Good afternoon, everyone. We had a little technical difficulty this morning pulling some reports, but we are finally ready to give you your week one, period one, MEP League Cup update. But before we get to the scores, we wanted to announce the team winner of the team name slash logo contest that was out there on Facebook. There were over 200 comments on that post. You guys did a great job sharing it. I tallied all the votes. There were a couple votes on a couple other posts I had to go find. But within five votes, Ambitious wins the team name logo contest. It was very, very close, but Ambitious takes it. I believe it was Brenda's team, the crazy ladies. I believe they were second, but it was very, very close. Ambitious, you earned an extra 50 points on your team total for this week. Congratulations. Well, this week started out period one. It started out with the all new for 2022 summer surprise double points Monday morning. So those of you who got up and joined me live Monday morning, I think there were 11 or 12 or 13 you with Nicole online and everyone else in gym. You started out with double points, a great way to start out MEP League. And then last night, the period one double points was Brenda's awesome new kicks class. They went through some fundamentals of boxing. They learned how to punch. They learned how to create a great target. And then she even added on a little core with some battle ropes and some slam balls and a little on your back and in plank core. And they had a great class last night and they earned double points for their effort. Well, let's get to the score, shall we? I'm sure you are all curious. In game one, it was the battle of the guys teams. The top guns against Dem boys, and Dem boys came out hard. Top guns, 3207, Dem boys, 5905 already in its only period one. Top Guns, you were led by Travis with 866 points in period one. And Pat, new Pat Daggett comes out of there with 615 points, an awesome first period effort in his first MEP league. Great job, Pat. Well, I think you can probably know who led Dem Boys in scoring. It's Jeff Hughesby, 1,628 points. He got a lot of MEPs. He got the doubles that were available and he brought the first free agent to MEP League to Holly Spin on Monday night, 1,628 points. And not to be outdone, only by a little bit, also a newcomer, Terry Bladorn, 1,206 points. He just got done doing Burns 30 here after he did class this morning, because he said he couldn't make TRX tonight, so he came in for Burns with Molly at noon. Terry, 1,206. Great job in your first period, first ever MEP League. Boy, I don't know. It might be the Hughesby effect on that team because, man, they, they put some points up. They're going to be hard to catch. But Top Guns, keep in mind, Jeff's pretty close to maxing out. Terry's pretty close to maxing out. They may have scored all their points early in the week. You are not out of this by any means. In game three, we get into the ladies' teams now. The hot chicks and the crazy ladies. I like both these team names because they got Z's in them. The hot chicks, 29-27. Crazy ladies, 34-67. This is a tight one. The hot chicks are led by Holly. As always, she usually leads her team by not just words and motivation, but by action. Great job, Holly. 667 points. And Sherry Hughesby, the other half of the Hughesby Power Couple, 478 points. Great job, Sherry. Over there on the crazy ladies, we got Selena. Selena out in Colorado, hiking, climbing mountains, biking, doing all the stuff she does out in the great weather out in Colorado. 834 points in period one. And then Brenda, new member, new training client for me, and new coach for you. She comes out and leads from the front. 
776 points for Brenda in period one for the crazy ladies. Great job, Brenda. And finally, our third game, Ambitious, which I, I got to tell you, that, that's probably my favorite team name. Dana, great job finding that on Google. I just, I just like it. It speaks to me. Ambitious and the Booty Busters. Nothing wrong with that name either. I like it, although you could have put a Z on the end. The Booty Busters. Ambitious, 38-48. Booty Busters, not far behind at 29-89. That one's still up for grabs. Ambitious is led by the queen herself, Dana, 980 points in period one. Check me if I'm wrong, Dana, but I thought you told me you were maybe not going to go as overboard uh, in the summer's MEP League as you did in the winter. 980 points, that's a lot of points. Great job. And then Reina leading from the front, 953 points. Great job, Reina. Well, those are your scores. You know, that first game, it's kind of a blowout. But like I said, they, they're scoring all their points early. You never know. The other two games, certainly up for grabs. What do we have coming up in the zone for the rest of the week? Well, tonight at 5 p.m., Holly will be offering up double points for TRX class. And she wanted to put a little challenge out there for you guys. If you get more MEPs than her, she's going to be doing class with you. You get more MEPs than her, you get to add on 10 points to your team. Anyone who gets more MEPs than her during class, an extra 10 points for you. The other double point uh, class opportunity coming up this week in period three, don't forget, is Saturday morning. Power Zone Endurance at 745 to 845. That's 60 minutes of double point fun immediately followed by 9 a.m. circuit, and circuit is going to be combined with dodgeball. So we're going to get a little workout in, and we're going to have a little fun with dodgeball interspliced in the workout itself. We'll get you out of here probably close to 10 o'clock Saturday morning. So that is your first update of Summer MEP League Cup 2022. I hope you're having a great week. It's Wednesday. It's a little rainy out. I had to cancel some plans with my boys this afternoon. So I'm here working, getting the video done for you guys. You guys have a fantastic rest of your week. As always, stay engaged. Stay communicating with your team in the Zone app. Stay positive. Help each other out. And we will see you later in the Zone. Will you fight? No! We will run! And we will live! Shame on you! This could be the greatest night of our lives. But you're gonna let it be the worst. And I guarantee a week won't go by in your life. You won't regret walking out, letting them get the best of you. Well, I'm not going home. We've got too far! And I'm gonna stay right here and fight for this lost cause. A day may come! When the courage of men fails. But it is not this day. The line must be drawn here. Yeah. This far, no farther. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. You're going to work harder than you ever worked before. But that's fine. We'll just get tougher with it. If a person grits his teeth and shows real determination. Failure is not an option. That's how winning is done. Believe me when I say we can break this army here. And win just one for the Gipper. But I say to you, what every warrior has known since the beginning of time, You've got to get mad! I mean plumb mad dog mean. If you would be free men, then you must fight to fulfill that promise! They just cut out their living guts one inch at a time. And they will know what we can do! <laughs> Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions! You're like a big bear, man. This is your time. Seize the day. Never surrender. Victory or death. Bitch! The Chicago. Who's with me? Clap! Clap! Go, my team guy! Clap! All right, let's fly! I'm gentlemen in England, now I bet. Shall no, my name is the Lord! When I tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our Independence Day!